so hey guys in this video we are back with another problem based on transfer function okay we have to find cfs by rfs using what block reduction method okay so we can you do this kind of problem using other method which is nothing but what uh, which is signal flow graph also okay this block you can convert into signal flow graph this we have discussed you can see that video so as well now here anyways we'll start with this problem always remember first should step first step should be always look for series or parallel blocks always look for series or parallel blocks so in this problem if you observe there is no series or parallel blocks don't get confused these two are not in parallel always remember these are nothing but loops one gain is there transfer function is there here this is nothing but feedback they are called as loops minor loops we can call okay they are not in parallel parallel means some gain blocks will be there one block here another block will be down or something so uh g4 like this. this two will be in parallel like that okay so you have to understand that so anyways you need to be careful with that and all so in uh, this loop this is nothing but minor loop so what was our second step second step was to find out so we have not got any series or parallel blocks so ignore that step let us go for the next step reducing the minor loops so minor loops how many we can see reducing minor loops so here you can observe that these two are in what these two entire thing are in what minor loop it is a minor loop we can reduce it how to reduce g of s by 1 plus or minus g of s into h of s this is our reduction okay so we have to reduce this minor loop into this particular block one single block now if you observe here here also you can apply but one problem is there what is that problem over here this summing point is there in between in between this summing point is sitting so i have to remove that summing point that is the one more step you need to understand okay so that summing point we have to remove anyways we'll go for first reduction of minor loop we'll uh, solve that thing then we'll come across this thing okay fine so well let us uh, draw again so r of s is sitting here and here we are got one summing point okay summing point we have got then one more summing point came in between and g1 block is there then we have got that minor loop so this this loop i'll reduce how to reduce that so it will be g of s is nothing but g2 by 1 what should i put here plus or minus which one i should take here minus is sitting so i should take the opposite sign which is nothing but plus plus into g of s what is g of s g2 what is h of s here h of s is nothing but the feedback which is nothing but h2 so it will be h2 so this i have converted into this single block then who is sitting over here here as c of s is sitting okay c of s is sitting output now from here we are out from output side we have got one feedback right so feedback is going towards this summing point okay feedback is going towards summing point with the one negative sign over here okay anyways that will be solving so next uh, below 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 this one feedback block is there from g1 output to this summing point okay so here one h1 is sitting and this also negative sign now we have to, what we have to do now carefully you have to listen here this summing point i have to remove from this then only i can solve this g1 and h1 otherwise i cannot apply directly the minor loop this the basic idea here is that whenever you are getting in middle something minor loop in middle something you are getting take off point or a summing point always remove that thing so where where should i keep that thing? always remember try to shift take off point towards the right side that is output side so take off point this point you remember take off point towards the right side you remember and summing point towards the left side summing point towards the left side that is nothing but input side so take off take off point always remember try to shift that to the output side and summing point try to shift that to the the input side okay now again so what we can do here first if you observe here one takeoff point is there here one summing point is sitting so can i remove this takeoff point and put it over to the output side yes i can do that so i'll remove that takeoff from point from there okay so next diagram will be our uh, third step will be r of s again this diagram then who is sitting over here one summing point with plus 
and another summing point is also sitting then g1 was sitting here then i have to remove this summing point and put it over to the output side right so i have to ignore that summing point then i have to go for this block which is g2 by g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 then output will come here g of s okay now what is left out part here you can see this feedback i should place so feedback i'll place it from the output of this thing but i have removed this one so this uh takeoff point i have to remove and keep it where to the output side so i'll keep it over here output side so what was the rule you need to understand rule was whenever you shift takeoff point after the block after the block after which block i am shifting so i'll just draw it over here take a point i am shifting the take a point after this block this block right so you have to take the reciprocal of that block right reciprocal of that block right so i'll remove this take a point so this line this was the line so i have removed this line and where i have kept this line i will keep this line over here which is this line this is line is uh, this line is basically for h1 it will come over here i hope you got it i have just removed this line this line and kept it over there so when i remove this line what you have to understand that this block will come where it will come in this line so it will come over here so i have to take reciprocal it will be 1 by g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 okay this is the block i have got so i'll just draw that block over here and here i have got that h1 i'll pass it over so what i have done i'll just quickly explain so what i have done here this block was sitting over there just quickly i'll explain this take a point i have shifted over this part output side see as i said take a point try to shift to the towards the right side so when i shift the take a point after the block after which block this was the block after the block i have shifted that means you have to take reciprocal of that block so 1 by g2 by 1 plus g g2 h2 reciprocal reciprocal means 1 by i have to take. where should you place that block that you should place in that feedback that this line you have shifted right this line so in that line itself you have to place that block in this line okay so that's why i have placed uh, this one over here that you need to understand okay one another uh, block was sitting over here that also i'll just draw it off this block i have not disturbed this feedback block is there with minus sign okay so i hope you got it what i have done let us go for the next step now here clearly here you need to understand that these two blocks are now in what series right and these two feedback line blocks are in series so i should what i should do i should multiply them so let us go with the first step so first step we have got rfs is sitting over here then one summing point is sitting over here then another summing point here okay then g1 is getting multiplied so i have to write it as g1 into g2 by 1 plus g1 into sorry g2 into h2 i hope you understood these two are getting multiplied since they are in series okay since they are in series so just this, this i'll remove okay so i hope you understood then here c of s is sitting c of s is sitting which is nothing but the output then these two blocks are in series again so i have to multiply that two blocks also so reciprocal means i hope you understood this you have to take a reciprocal so it will be i can write it as what so this don't forget here summing point was there here one feedback loop is there my with minus sign this also you have to take okay from the output okay so from here one feedback is there so it will get multiplied so it will be h1 by g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 okay this is the block you are getting after multiplication because they uh, both were in uh, series right 
okay now what is the left out thing left out thing you can see can i take this summing point this loop what is this loop actually this is nothing but a feedback loop you need to understand that this is nothing but a feedback loop it, it is coming from here towards this thing so it is basically a feedback loop but they have not mentioned the gain of that block feedback loop right they have not mentioned whether it, whether it is h3 h2 whatever it is not they have not mentioned but you need to understand that when they don't mention it that gain will be one so you have to consider it as what one okay one so what will be that so this entire thing will be solving this loop will be solving which loop this loop will be solving that you have to understand okay again closed loop transfer function so it will be fifth point rfs is equal to uh, not equal to here one summing point came with plus sign and here feedback is there uh, right with minus sign okay just mention minus sign so the summing point i have reduced i have to reduce so i can write it as what g of s by one plus or minus g of s into h of s what is g of s over here it is nothing but this block and what is h of s h of s as i said there is no h of s so i have to take it as one only so i have to apply this formula which sign you will be using plus or minus here minus is setting so you have to use the ultra sign which is nothing but plus sign so it will be g of s means g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 divided by 1 plus g of s is again g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 into again h of s came h of s is something but 1 right it is 1 so no need to put that if you want you put into 1 okay so this block you are getting this is a huge block you got so this is your output side so we have reduced that block also so what is left out now down one block up one block what rule you will apply that is nothing but again a loop again a loop right so here one more loop is sitting which is nothing but h1 so i'll take reciprocal so it will be h1 into 1 plus g2 h2 divided by g2 i've taken reciprocal right simple thing simple logic i applied so this will be going towards the outputs okay i hope you understood what i have done so basically what i have done here i'll just show you again that this is h1 by g g2 right and divided by 1 plus g2 h2 see this 1 plus g2 h2 will go in the numerator which is h1 so it will get multiplied in that and what is in the denominator g2 so that's why it is g2 okay so i hope you understood that part also now this is nothing but a loop just uh, this is a loop so what you can do g of s by 1 plus or minus g of s into h of s formula again you have to apply that so you can directly write c of s by r of s will be equal to just reduce this block so it will be g of s is nothing but g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 divided by 1 plus g2 g oh sorry g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 into 1 no need to write this is nothing but g g of s okay we have written only g of s minus uh, sorry 1 plus or minus sorry which sign you should take here minus is sitting so i should take plus so it will be 1 plus g of s into h of s h of s is nothing but this part okay so again the denominator part will be so 1 plus g of s is again g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 multiplied with h of s what is h of s over here it is h1 into it is h1 into g sorry 1 plus g2 g2 h2 divided by g2 okay so this entire thing will come as what c of s by r of s now what you have to do we have to simplify this equation so first numerator part let us try to simplify what will happen over here let me just use here okay fine so here you see denominator g1 plus g2 h2 is sitting here denominator is sitting but we have to take lcm right lcm so what it will be numerator part i am resolving so g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 divided by i'll take lcm it will be 1 plus g2 
h2 plus g1 g2 divided by 1 plus g2 h2 now this and this get cancelled right so same thing over here also if you see down part this is same as this one so this simplification will be same as this simplification so answer will be same as this one so you can directly write as what so i can write c of s by r of s is equal to s okay g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 plus g1 h g1 g2 okay this one this part whole thing divided by now here this part you know is same as this part correct so this is nothing but this part so it will be 1 plus g1 g2 by 1 plus g2 h2 plus g1 g2 into who is sitting over here h1 into 1 plus g2 h2 divided by g2 right so this uh, this much is enough actually okay so this will be your final answer if you want you can uh, simplify further by taking lcm okay so down part you can take lcm like that also you can solve but this much is enough okay so this will be your final answer for this particular question